Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 The Green Family Legacy and we are here with Devin who is spending what could very well be the last quiet evening she has in a very very long time with her big old belly bump. She is in the third trimester and Devin should be having her baby any minute now. I'm very excited about that. She's just hanging out outside. Pretty much everybody who can walk is currently outside gazing at the star or gazing at the clouds for just a little bit because little Fern wanted to become inspired and oh Oh, this is just Lily. Lily walking up to see what's going on. I guess Devin can go ahead and greet her because it would be kind of weird. It'd be like, did you fall down? Um, but yeah, so yeah, it would be kind of weird to see a pregnant woman just laying on the ground staring at the clouds. So I could see how maybe Devin would want to get up. She is a little bit snobby. She is always concerned about appearances after all. These two, however, are just having a grand old time. But yes, we are back at the green main household where we've got adorable Pine hanging out with his daughter Fern. Devin is now greeting Lily. It looks like they're really starting to develop quite the relationship, which is pretty cool. Uh, she needs some good friends. And I was thinking tonight should actually be the day where little Amy Amber grows up. So we're going to see if we can go ahead and age little Amber up. And I was thinking about having a birthday party for her. So we'll have Pine invite over his family in just a moment. He wants to go and hug his wife. And maybe at the birthday party, the baby might be born because she is in her third trimester. She's going to have this baby any minute now. We don't, I think it's, did we find out if it's a boy or a girl? I don't think we found out if it's a boy or a girl. Maybe we did. Pine used to have those abilities when he worked as a doctor. I don't think he does anymore. And we're gonna have a little, our little one come over here and do some people. So we're gonna have Fern work on drawing some people for a minute so that she can work on her shapes and whatnot. And you, she's really tired. You know what, we'll go ahead and let her nap actually. Devin, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna nap. And we're gonna have Pine come on in. He missed his wife again. <laughs> <laughs> or his girlfriend, I should say. They're not married yet, but I think they finally got engaged. And he's really looking forward to, like, getting married to her as soon as the baby's born. She's not really in the mood. Where the heck is your phone? There it is. I am so used to playing Sims 3 lately. I was like, where's the phone? Um, plan social events. <laughs> but we're going to have little Amber's birthday tonight. It's a good Saturday night for this. And we'll try to make it pretty quick because the kids need to be in, in bed and asleep pretty soon. Hang on, Lily. We need to plan a house party, birthday party! Yay, all right, and we are going to, um, dang it, we can't have a birthday party for the baby. Fudge knuckles, okay, maybe it should just be a house party then? Um, maybe not a house party. Maybe, you know what, let's just invite the family over. <laughs> let's just back it up a little bit here, and since we can't really have the baby, like, have her own birthday party. Let's invite, let's see, invite club to hang out. No, no, no. Invite to hang out at current lot. And we're just going to go down the list. Let's see. And let's try. I think he's inviting his parents over now. Hopefully. All right. Tate will be over in just a second. Can we invite Iris over? Um, is she, Iris in the area? I think Iris might be grandmotherly stalking the area. Oh, there's Tate. Yay! Tate was like here in two seconds. All right, well, let's go ahead and invite over all ya. Can invite to hang out at current lot. I invite to hang out at current lot. Let's invite over Holly. We're just gonna try inviting like pretty much the family over. I don't think we have like the actual family in a club right now. Where's your aunt? Why can you never remember your aunt? Oh, there's Lily. All right, and I think we, ha we have Lily like invited over too. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and invite Tate in. Um, Fern, well, she would want to come and let's see, uh, ask to leave. Oh, never mind. Fern actually apparently can't have help out with this. Okay, sorry, it's a little disorganized for just a second. There's Iris. Okay, we need to invite her in too. So we've got lots of people to invite over. All right, let's see. Theorize about aliens. That's true, because Pine has just started working in his new job, so he's going to be feeling the alien vibe. We need to get his mom over here somehow. That's an adorable little dress. Ask to hang out. Look at the little dress Iris is wearing to celebrate spring. No, Iris, come back. You don't understand. It's going to be like Amber's birthday any minute now. We're trying so hard. All right, Devin, you get some sleep. 
It's the general chaos. We'll get better as time goes on of arranging these events. Oh my goodness, we even have you. She's trying to go to bed too. Well, she had a huge, like a hugely big Saturday actually, because she hung out with her cousin and she was hanging out with a lot of the family. Let's let her resume this and just try to finish it. All right, can we invite you in? All right, Holly should be over in just a second. Holly is on her way over. Good. I think we're going to have to invite to hang out at current lot. All right, where are you going? Where are you going, Tate? Okay, good. Everybody's staying. Yay, and there's Ash. All right, so we're going to have like this awesome big family meeting, which is wonderful. There, so we have just invited the whole family over. And Devin is going to have to do like wake up now. And she wants to play the piano, analyze a book, critique something. And we can go ahead and have her come out and start meeting and greeting everybody. Cheerful introduction. She's going to be a little bit forced cheerful. But yeah, yeah, there's going to be cake. We'll make a cake too. We'll make this happen. She's going to be able to have a grand old time. Invite inside. And then let's see. Invite to feel baby. I think that Ash would just like run the other direction if somebody invited him to fill their belly. All right. Yeah, there we go. So the family is hanging out. This is good. This is good. This is what we need. Wonderful. And we'll get little Fern. She Is she done with her painting? Is she finished her prodigy need? Yes, she has. Sweet. I was hoping she would finish that because she needed to do that for her artistic prodigy level. So she can come over. Let's talk about school. Talk about her dreams with her cousin. There. All right, everybody. So the Green family has come together for a big old grand event. The event is Little Amber's birthday. So I'm going to have Devin go ahead and maybe make a cake really quickly. Well, I'm going to have Devin go to the restroom really quickly because she is a hugely pregnant expectant mother. So people need to like get out of her way. The baby could be very well be born like today here, which would be quite interesting. Oh, look at her. So Alia's like introducing Fern to her cousin. So let's see. How about, um, more choices, friendly, ask for typing tips, maybe discuss interest. There you go, Fern. All right. Oh, and Fern has just leveled up. Wow. She has leveled up to level nine of the social skill. Look at him. And Ash is like making silly faces. That's adorable. He's just making silly faces to his little cousin. He knows how to act. He, or his niece, actually. Oh, geez. Alia is his cousin. Fern is his niece. Basically, they're family. They're all just family and they're all having a grand old time. So that makes me pretty happy. All right. And you, sir, I think you need to work on, let's see, serve, cook a gourmet meal. Can I have him make anything a gourmet? He can make a gourmet fruit cake to celebrate Amber's bake. Uh, he can make some sugar cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you really not make anything else? Have a dessert. Nope. Nope. And there's cook, like serve dessert. All right. We're going to serve a uh, chocolate cake. Uh, let's do some classic vanilla cupcakes for little Amber's birthday. I think that that's a good thing. There we go. So it's going to cost us some money. But it's going to be totally worth it. All right. Good, and the family's just settling in. This is wonderful. I think we're definitely in the future going to make it so that uh, the kidlets... Hang in there, hang in there. You got to stay awake just a little bit longer. Tell a make-believe story to your, your uncle. We're definitely going to move the kids upstairs so we can invite the family over more often to be able to have these awesome, like, evenings where everyone can just hang out and watch TV together. But let's go ahead and age up little Amber now, I think. That would be a good thing to do. So more choices. We're going to age her up. And it's going to be her birthday. Birthday time for the baby! Because we need the crib empty because there's going to be a new baby any minute now. Amber Green. Okay, that went, like, in two seconds. Wow, okay. Amber has aged up. Childhood, boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. All right, so I think Amber, um, I'm going to go ahead and roll a dice, I guess. And then five and six will be free choice. Okay, so it's a six. Amber, um, artistic prodigy, nimble. Let's make her a rambun rambunctious scrap, eh, scramp even. And then let's give her what insider, mean, hot-headed. What's something that might be a little bit more like her parents? Maybe genius. So 
really active genius. Um, I think the, both her parents have the genius trait. So you know what? We'll go with genius. All right. So there we go. All right, Amber. Welcome to the world. Oh my gosh. She aged up in like two seconds. She looks much different than her sister. Like they have similar faces, but just barely. Okay, welcome, Amber. Let's get her out here and let's let her meet everybody. She just grew up. I can't believe that happened so quickly. Um, asked to feel baby, I guess. All right. And there's creativity and happiness going around all over the place. Look at those delicious cupcakes. So that happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. There's not really much like celebration around the birthday when it's the, the baby aging up into a child, is there? All right, that's fine though. All right, and she wants to share ideas from being a genius, get to know Tate. So she wants to get to know her grandpa. I think that sounds like a great idea. All right, mischief. Let's come over and have her enthusiastic. Get to know. Getting to know her grandpa sounds like a fantastic idea. And meanwhile, Pine is over here with some delicious cupcakes that everybody can take part in. So let's come eat these cupcakes. And that's our way of trying to celebrate Amber's birthday, even though it wasn't, um, even though it wasn't like super eventful because it's not really much of an event. Let's see, let's grab a cupcake. Yeah, it's not really much of an event when it's just the little kids. All right. But everybody is bonding, which is fantastic. And we could have a baby any minute. All right. And hello, Amber. These are your grandparents. This is really cool. She gets to come over here and meet with her grandparents. Joke about chicken butt. That's adorable. And the siblings back there are bonding pretty well. Ask about being old. Share brilliant ideas. There, she's scooching over to talk to grandma. Oh, and she's got a good relationship with her grandparents already. I love seeing everybody bond. And then Lily's just kind of like hanging out like, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, so she's hanging, she's headed out. All right, a little bit chaotic, but pretty awesome. All right, and meanwhile, little Fern is getting really, really tired. This is gonna be her last night down here, and then we're gonna move her and her sister upstairs. They'll probably just take over grandparents' old room, and they can share that room. We might turn this into like a giant sleeping room for all of the kids, who knows? We've got a lot of work to do making this house big enough to fit all of the children, but I think it's gonna be totally awesome. All right, are you all done? All right, tell about dreams. I think she's really bonding well with Alia. These guys seem to be bonding pretty well. All right, and Amber, are you gonna dance or listen to classical? She wants to eat a slice of apple pie. She's headed out. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. I wanted to make it like a big birthday event, but I wasn't able to because kids can't really have birthdays and I forgot. Oh, well. All right, well, Devin's gonna go off and totter to sleep. And I think that we definitely need to tuck Fern in because she has had a huge day. I think she'll get off one more enthuse about the outdoors to her cousin. Because she really, I think she really, really likes her cousin. There we go, enthuse about the outdoors. And then we're gonna go ahead, what is this? Be funny. So he wants to tell a joke. And let's see, inside joke. And then he also wants to help Fern with her homework. So we'll work on that too. And Pine, do you work in the morning? Thankfully, he doesn't work in the morning, so he should be present for the birth of their next child. So we've got the crib empty, you guys. At least that much has happened. All right, and everybody is starting to head on home, which is just fine. All right, and Fern has just learned that Alia also loves the outdoors, which is great. And then even Ash is coming over to greet his new niece. He's like, oh, kids, I'm so not into kids. He's like, why do I have to come sit down here? He's not making a very good impression. Maybe a joke about weird animals. Amber, it's so weird that you're not a baby anymore. All right, they're not really, they're having a very boring, tedious conversation. I don't think that they're having much of a bond just yet. So we'll have to leave these two and see how it goes. Oh, you two. I love trying to come down and take a picture whenever the Sims do this. Are they, are they feeling playful because of the bunny in the background? And Tate actually trimmed the bonsai tree into that bunny shape while we were here. All right, I think everybody needs to start heading home pretty soon. And meanwhile, little, 
I think Pine wanting to get to know his fiance is like his way of indicating that he's wondering like how is she feeling? Like the the baby should be born any minute now. I don't know how to react. All right, and what do we have over here? Wash dishes. Stargaze with Tate, who just left. And Pishley Pester. She did not get along well with her uncle. And sometimes that just happens. All right. And I think we'll go ahead and let little Amber go to sleep, too. So we'll send Amber on up. And she can just sleep in the grandparents' old bedroom for now. Uh, wait, she wants to share ideas because she's a genius. And she shares a lot of her ideas with her, uh, her grandma. But she could share a lot of her ideas with her dad, too. And then we'll have to give her a little makeover. She's got the green chin. That chin is going to like haunt us forever, I think. All right, she is a genius. She is more focused for mental pursuits. And she needs to keep her mind active to stay happy. She still wants to share more ideas. She's just overflowing with ideas. So we'll just let her share more ideas with her dad. Pine, what do you think? You've got, he's like, I have two grown like daughters now and he's got another on the way soon. Maybe. I have names picked out if it's a boy and names picked out if it's a girl. So, hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to get little Amber off to bed and keep an eye on Devin because I think she's going to be having that baby any minute now. I'm pretty excited about it. And I will see you guys when she starts going into labor. Oh, poor Devin. No baby yet, you guys. Devin is on baby watch. She's drinking some grape juice. I cannot wait for her to be able to have the baby because she does want to start her own yoga studio. And we can sell all sorts of awesome things, maybe some relaxing plants and incense and lots of these little fruit blends and juices that she's able to make. So poor Devin, she is just waiting for her third child to be born. I think that she is done having babies for a little while. She's probably feeling the urge to get out and really participate in life more. Join a little yoga studio, have her own yoga club. That's something she's really wanted to do. Be able to get her writing abilities uh, really moving and grooving. I think somehow we're going to equate her writing abilities to being similar to um, you know, other goals that she has kind of with yoga. You kind of have to take those aspirations because there's only a handful of them and tweak them to fit what you think your sim is really wanting every now and then. All right, and let's have her actually serve some apple juice for when the kids wake up. Today is supposed to be the day that they are going to go to the Easter egg event. The uh, egg spring egg event, I should say. It's not really Easter egg event. No, we broke the blender. Why? It's a good thing that Pine can fix this. <laughs> Yay. Um, but yeah, today is supposed to be the day that the girls go enjoy collecting some awesome eggs from the park. And I have actually laid out the park so that there's lots of logs for them to be able to collect from and hopefully find tons of eggs. But we have to wait for the baby to be born. That's kind of the thing. We're sort of on pins and needles waiting for the birth of this little one. And I can't remember how to send her to the hospital. There's supposed to be like a notification that pops up and it's like, do you want your sim to go to the hospital or have the baby here at home? All right, come on, drink your, drink your apple juice. Drink your apple juice, Devin. There you go. There you go. She's just kind of standing and staring at it. I guess juice wouldn't be that filling. All right, let's clean this up. Still on baby watch. Her bladder is just like nose diving. All right, and we'll let her go ahead and take a nice shower. Just get ready for this baby to be born any minute now. All right, and Amber is super awesome. She actually is upstairs sleeping. We're going to redo this whole room. Don't you worry. The girls are going to have a proper bedroom. It's going to be awesome. We'll even maybe put in one of the little closets for them so that they'll be able to play make-believe in the closet. I haven't seen the kids do that yet with that feature. And she came up and she actually played chess before she went to bed. So she's definitely trying to live up that genius trait. And her sister Fern is spending her last day in her super colorful room. Hopefully she'll be able to have a great time in her new bedroom and I'll be really happy to have a living room back because then we'll have plenty of space to host those like weekly family movie nights. I feel like Devin would feel like as the um the new heiress to the legacy and they don't really like acknowledge the legacy in their lives but in my life you know she'd be able to really let's see resume writing five past the thursday afternoon she'd be able to host events and she just kind of has that snobby atmosphere that snob trait but we're trying to use it in a good way where she's going to see it as like her responsibility to really build up this family and keep all the family ties pretty close mostly for appearances <laughs> but not in a bad way and Devin, you need to have this baby 
All right. I mean, any minute she's going to have the baby. So I don't want to. Pine, are you really going to eat a cupcake for breakfast? Really? No. Before you eat the cupcake for breakfast, you need to see that this is thick, like broken. And you need to come over and repair it. All right. So he's going to come over here. He also has to achieve logic, level 10 of the logic skill. So, man, we are just waiting for this baby. Come on, baby. And we'll have to give Amber a little makeover in the future, too. All right, if the baby doesn't come by like around 10 or 11, then we're gonna go ahead. Here, you drink some of the healthy, oop, let's have him tinker with it for a second. And then grab a drink to have some of the healthy apple juice. Then we will just go ahead and send Pine off to the park with Fern and Amber so that, and she wants to talk to a giant stuffed animal. Oh, and she wants to play with her sister. That's so cute. That's so cute. She's so cute. She just is immediately cute. But yeah, if the baby's not born by about 10 or 11, we'll have to leave it there with Devin and go ahead and send the girls to the park because Devin wouldn't want them to miss out on their weekend day of being able to go and play at the park and gather up Easter eggs. I need to stop calling them Easter eggs. Gather up spring eggs just because the baby, well, the baby being born is a big deal, but you know what I mean? She doesn't want to have the whole family miss out on that opportunity just because of her. All right, all right. Any any second now, I'm sure there's gonna be a baby. Any second now, Amber, you are entitled to that little bit of cake. You can come over here and chat with your dad. It's so fun how they're able to just chit chat while they're eating breakfast. All right, and Fern, you can come over and have something to eat. What are, what is there in here to eat? Um, there's some delicious scrambled eggs, actually. So we'll have Fern come over and grab some of those. All right. <gasps> there we go. Okay. All right. Devin has indeed gone into labor. Okay. It is now baby time. Now baby time. Okay. We're going to have the baby at the hospital this time. You guys ready for this? All right, Devin. I, I am so excited. All right. We're going to go have the baby at the hospital. We're going to join her. Um, and okay, where is her husband or her boyfriend? There we go. All right, Pine, let's do this. All right, girls, you need to be like, we're calling over the grandparents. All right, we're off to the hospital to have the baby. This is so awesome. You guys, that was ridiculous. And the hospital is still broken from when Pine was there. And like the, the for some reason, the baby having machine doesn't work. So guess what? Devin is having like an emergency home birth this second. She's going to have the baby. All right, this is pretty awesome. We're gonna send her inside. This is hilarious. They're gonna have like this whole view of focusing on holistic issues. Fine, what are you doing? That looks terrifying. He's like excited and frantic all at once and the girls are just here and who knows what's happening anymore. Oh my gosh, and she's off to play in the trash. We don't even have time. Devin's having the baby. This is just like an emergency home birth. They're gonna like sue the hospital because it's broken and she wasn't able to have the baby where she really wanted to. Oh my gosh, is it, okay, that's wonderful. Don't show me that dialogue again. I kind of want to see. I don't think we checked if this one was gonna be a boy or a girl. And meanwhile, we have a very happy child. <gasps> it's a boy! Oh my gosh, it's a boy. I actually was not expecting a boy. Okay, you guys. Well, we have now ha we now have Aspen. So, we have Aspen um green and he has just been born. I was not expecting a boy. I thought for sure it was going to be another girl. Okay. Well then, we've got a little baby boy on the way, you guys. Oh my gosh, and there he is. Just like that. Oh my goodness. Welcome, little guy. You've got your mom's eyes too. This is so exciting. So we have a brand new baby boy. Let's have Pine come on over. Come on, Pine. You need to come over and you need to meet your son. I can't believe this. A boy. I thought for sure he would only ever have little girls born in his family. Oh, this is just too cool. This is just way too amazing. All right. I wish they interacted with their kids just a bit more. It feels like you can do more when you show them off in Sims 2. Like you can show the baby off, uh, like hold it and like walk up to another Sim and you can hand the, the Sim to another or the baby to another Sim. But we're going to make this happen. All right. Can you not see your baby? Can you not see your son because of uh, that dresser that is in the way? That is just fine. All right. Devin, you go ahead. Take care of your needs. 
because you have earned it, ma'am. And we're going to have Pine pick up his baby for the very first time. So he needs to come and cuddle his son. All right, Devin, you're fine. You're fine. You can you can you can leave the baby alone now. She's like, no, she's okay. She's going to be protective mama all over the baby and not let Pine near it for a minute. And that's just fine. And then we'll come over and we will have him meet his son in just a minute but there we go you guys so thank you so much for joining me as the greens add another member to the family this is just so cool where's the family tree i want to i want to stare at the family tree and just coo over the fact that the family tree has grown because this is so much fun look at that look at that right up here we've got tate and his sister lily and tate got married to iris and down the line they had Pine, then they had Holly, and then they had Ash, and now Pine has gone ahead and he has Fern, Amber, and Aspen. So this is going to be really cool to see how the kids all grow up. And it's going to be really fun because next time when we come back, we are going to have Pine take his daughters off to a special day in the park to gather up lots and lots of special Easter eggs. Pine is like, Devin, will you please let me hold my son now? Look at him. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, oh, and there she is. So she's coming on in to see what's going on, too. Oh, she's sad from getting a new sibling. Oh, don't worry, Amber. We still love you, too. But yeah, we'll take Amber and we'll take Fern and they're going to go have a fun time hunting for spring eggs. And I think that Devin is just kind of going to be uh, a little bit protective about the baby for a little while here. So that's just fine. All right. Well, we'll take care of this and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.